Home sales have been selling at a record pace, and getting a home inspection is becoming part of the buying of a home. It's always been that way. These inspectors, though, do not have to be licensed in the state of Missouri. So you need to make sure you do your research before you make a commitment to an inspector. And joining us now is Sarah Wetzel with the Better Business Bureau in St. Louis. Sarah, thanks so much for being with us. What does the BBB hear from consumers who've had complaints about home inspections? Well, Dan, on a positive note, Better Business Bureau has received around 400,000 inquiries on home inspectors. So it's great that people are coming to Better Business Bureau and doing their research. Unfortunately, we have received around 450 complaints, and those are reports of inaccurate or incomplete inspections and then billing issues. So you wanted to try to prevent that. Come to BBB.org and do your research to make a wise decision on choosing a home inspector. Since many home inspectors are not required to have a license, what do we need to look for to make sure we get a qualified inspector? That's what a big issue is, is there's so many inconsistencies with the licensing. And while home inspectors could be structural engineers, architects, um, contractors, or have other skills that they are licensed in in that respective trade, Home inspectors are not federally regulated, and as you said, state to state, the requirements are different. So Missouri, they do not require licensing or training, but in Illinois, they do. So it's really important to know this, so whenever you are hiring an inspector, you can ask those questions and see what experience that they have. Should a homeowner be present when that inspection is underway? Absolutely. That's a great tip, Dan. And it's best for everybody. That way you can be there, you're walking through, and you're seeing what that inspector is looking at, and you can feel comfortable that everything is being looked at and inspected. But then also, if you have any questions while you're there, you can ask the inspector those questions so you feel completely comfortable in your decision on that possibly buying that home. And, and how soon after the inspection should you expect to receive a copy? That's a great question. It's all going to differ, but it's a question that you want to ask the inspector up front so everybody's on the same page. Obviously, time is of the essence, and as once you get the inspection, there could be negotiations with the seller. So just ask the question of the inspector so everybody knows and everybody can be on the same page. And as you mentioned at the beginning of the interview, BBB.org is a good place to a resource to find out about these home inspection companies. You actually give them grades, right? Absolutely. It's A plus to F like you're back at school. And there's several things that go into that. And if you go to the business profile, you can see the letter grade. You can also see customer reviews, whether they're positive, negative, or neutral. But those are consumers that have actually done business with that company. And then also you can see if that company has any complaints and if they're responding to them or not. Yeah, and I guess it's good to, to ask a around ask your friends and family who've gone through the same process absolutely yeah sarah wetzel with the better business bureau yeah. in st louis thanks so much for being with us bbb.org is the website for all your information sarah have a great day thank you and